I guess the thing that really concerns me is the lawfully present piece because some places there are no signs. There's no sticker on the door. I've actually walked up to buildings that had the proper signage and noticed it and walked back to my truck and in my pickup, in the console, there's a gun safe. And I locked it up, went back in. But if there are no signs and there's no notification with signage and someone just happens to be, let's say, phrase it, in the wrong place at the wrong time, but because they're there and they have a weapon, it becomes the right place at the right time. How would they be prosecuted? Or how would they be exonerated in, in maybe a criminal behavior? It would be just like it would be today in, in that situation, even if they declared you an awful person. Now, if there's no, no posting, then you're not an awful person. If, if there's a posting, then the question of whether you're lawfully posting or lawful president or not is one that I don't know is, is clear. I, I think the prosecutor could interpret that as a lawful president. I don't think they probably should, but it doesn't matter. The worst case scenario, when you're not lawfully present, then you would have a duty to retreat. So the worst case scenario, it brings you back under today's law, right? It doesn't give you any additional benefits if you're, if you're trespassing, but it doesn't give you any additional burden if you're trespassing. It just basically says you have to be retreated if you can. And then it's not going to help you if you're guilty of some other crime for carrying gun in a place you shouldn't. But it also isn't going to hurt you because that's a totally separate code section that's not addressed by this. Thank you. Representative Flowers, you're recognized for a question. 